Uh, I, I did get to play DD2, but just really quick, uh, I went to I went to an event thanks to Capcom to just check out an early build of the game. They had a couple of scenarios for us to check out. Um, it was very much Dragon's Dogma, though. For anybody that is like curious, I can go over it in detail what I essentially played and show you guys what it is. Um, let's do it. Hold on a second. Uh, this comes out in like two weeks, chat, and I wouldn't even be surprised if there's a demo pretty soon. So I played it. Um, this game to me plays like an early 2000s era mmo at a core level there is so little hand holding in dragon's dogma 2 that it's kind of crazy like the the first thing they have you do is talk to this guy about some some thing to get in this door and he's like hey you don't have the right thing and you're like oh well i guess i just better go look around um so like elden ring not really like probably even less hand holdy than a game like elden ring uh, it's very much like the first game. Yes, very much like the first game. So the good news is that I can echo one thing. Uh, this game is 100% what I thought it was going to be, which seems kind of fun. Emergent gameplay, the game, where it's just a billion systems and all of this other stuff sort of like mashed together in this game. And it's it's all gonna collide with each other in weird and crazy ways. So yeah, you get like quests and obviously you talk to a whole bunch of NPCs about figuring out where to go and what to do. Um, but as you know, you're figuring out the combat in this thing and being just dropped into Dragon's Dogma combat like right at the start isn't the best way because you really don't get like any defensive options. There's like, very few defensive things you sort of get. There's not even like a dodge man, right? There's like a there's like a quick dash and like a jump. So at least on this class, it took a while to get used to that where it's like, whoa, okay. I can't like wait to timing parry and, and stuff like that. You need like a shield if you're gonna be doing that kind of stuff. So what is the PS5 performance? You're looking at it. You're looking at it. It looks like it runs at about 30. It looks like it runs at about 30 FPS with a bunch of motion blur. Is the dialogue good? I will say that the, what the pawns say is a bit more dynamic than before, obviously. Uh, a bit, a bit better than what was present in the, in the previous game. So the, the pawns have some pretty great stuff and you have a lot of camaraderie moments with them where you can, uh, like high five them and just when you, when you win fights and stuff like that, it feels like you're actually a team working together. It's relatively cool. Uh, is it good? I think this game is going to do very well. In, in an era that is a post Elden Ring era. So the Griffin came down and attacked us because it was going after a harpy. And then that's just here. All this stuff is unscripted, by the way, which is the crazy thing. It's not entirely all happening to the same people at the same times. Uh, much less, should, should we be fighting a Griffin down here? No. Probably not. It's an, it's in a weird situation. Uh, but that's kind of like the nature of the game is that you get all these like crazy things happening on top of each other and it's like, whoa. Uh, this is definitely, this, this thing is definitely something else. The questing is pretty fun, but to me it was like, at least in a limited constraint setting, it was kind of hard to even follow a quest line because there is no like, hey, here's your thing, go to it. No, that doesn't exist at all. Like, it is it is very open-ended as far as like, all right, so I have an idea of what I need to do. I need to go get more information. And where do you get that information? Is it on the map? Not specifically, it's just, it just says, talk to people in a town. So it's like, oh, okay, I'll just start talking to people in a town and just see what's going on. And then you just start moving in that direction to figure out what's happening. So they want you to go on an adventure. They really do. It's it's probably some of like the least handholdy stuff you could imagine in terms of uh, wide scale open world style games. Kind of like old school EverQuest one. That's why I said the gameplay in this, like the, the structure of everything makes me feel like it's an early 2000s MMO in terms of just like, okay, just go figure it out, dude. Um, the one thing I will say that I'm a little critical of, it's a, it's a very heavy game. 
you know? In terms of, like, movement and combat, it is very heavy. And relatively, I would say, like, maybe the term sluggish is the right term, but at the same point, that seems sort of negative. I have to... I have to play the game in, like, a different frame rate or something like that to see if I feel the same way. Because it very much is like, ooh, how do I... How the heck do I get out of this situation? I'm being attacked by all these creatures. I can't get out of here, man. Um, and you're just sort of like stuck there. You don't really have much you can do. You have a jump and you have like a run and that's about it. Like Dark Souls 1 sluggish? A little bit, right? I'd say, I'd say Dark Souls 1 sluggish is a, a, a little comparable. So it's not specifically bad other than the fact that I have to get used to it, right? You have to adapt to what the heck it is. We were playing not on the PC version. This is the uh, PlayStation uh, 5 version. Is it less jank than DD1? Um, we just watched a monster dropkick himself almost off of a cliff. So there's a lot of crazy goofy things that happen. Just for compar comparative sake. Uh, so it's like, okay, yeah, let's fight this guy here. This will be cool. Let's start beating him up. I'm going to try to jump on him because jumping on things in Dragon's Dogma is cool, right? That's the whole... That's one of the coolest things you can do. I'm going to jump on him. Uh, maybe. When, the, when a lot of effects start happening, you see some performance stuff, right? You definitely see some. See, so you can't... You can't force throw these dudes off a cliff. But you can, like, do this big helmbreaker strike. And he stumbles off the cliff. And then we both fall. And we both die. So, this is 100% going to be a game of a bunch of wild systems on systems just, like, happening. There, this is going to be one of those games, and I, I use the comparison to Elden Ring, where you're going to be going on your adventure for, like, a goal, and you're going to be distracted about 30 times on your way to the goal. And on your way to the goal... One person's experience is going to be nothing like the other person's experience. Getting attacked by orcs. Got to take care of it. You know. Got to do something about it. It has a soft lock feel. I never got an... I, in, my, in my experience with it, I did not get a decent comprehension of how the lock on or soft lock actually works. There is no lock on button on the controls. The game feels like it is this sort of like you look at something in that direction or what's close to you and it sort of does the attacks in that direction but aiming your attacks at the enemies um is very important like making sure you aim where your strikes are going and it goes towards the direction of the bad guy is very critical this is cool you can speak to dragons Then the dragons talk to you. It's hella sick. So of course I'm gonna fight it, dude. I don't care. Of course I'll, I see the big set piece and I'm like, I'm going for it. I want to try it. Yeah, that's in the first game too. The, the, the big, big dragon stuff. I cannot wait. I really cannot wait to see what this game looks like on PC. Here's what I'll say about my final impressions because I wasn't super excited about Dragon's Dogma 2. When I, uh, when we were watching some of the previews and stuff like that. I don't think I was insanely hyped about this game. I feel a lot better about it now than I did from some of the trailers and the early previews. I feel a lot better about it now. Um, and it seems like it's a genuinely, like, really complex game with a lot of systems and a lot of things going on. This feels like Capcom's attempt at, like, an Elder Scrolls sort of game. This feels like a more fair like modern attempt at like oh you know a, a, the best example of this the best example of this i mean as i as i'm we're gonna get our asses kicked by this big dragon right we start heading back in in the dark and this game loves dark oh boy does this game love the dark because just like dd1 goblins. now we're, we get ambushed by goblins all right that's cool it's just a goblin no problem let's start moving Still making our way back. Oh, there's a stupid lizard. Ah, oh, stupid lizard, get out of here. Free experience, right? There's a stupid lizard. I'm gonna get for some free XP out of this. Me and Conan, the pawn, gonna be working here. One lizard turned into, oh, 
You, I keep seeing eyes, right? I keep seeing a bunch of glowing yellow eyes. So it's like, all right, one lizard turned into like seven. That's not good. Um, so here's where I use the example that this game is Capcom's attempt at like a Skyrim. So I'm like, oh, here's these guys. I'll just take them out. Goblins are easier than lizards. I'm like, wait a minute. Is that Conan back there? Is he still alive? And he's bringing all of the lizards with him? So all of the lizards are here and a bunch of orcs. And I'm like, and some, some villagers like, holy mother of God, what is going on? So I'm just going to start cooking it. Everyone's like, hey, there's a bunch of lizards behind you, bro. <laughs> What's happening? The townspeople take up arms to protect the town. And as we move around a little bit more, I have to start waking people up. Hey, there's some stuff happening over here. This guy's like, holy shit, why are there a bunch of lizards in the town? I'm going to go to people with swords and be like, hey, I need some help. As soon as the word gets out. <laughs> I'm not trying to destroy the town. I just didn't know what would happen. And this is cool. Everyone at the bar shows up. Everybody wakes up. All of town takes up their arms to kill this lizard infestation. And all of a sudden, it's the, the, the battle of two towers for Lord of the Rings and shit in here. All of a sudden, it's like, my god damn, dude. Let's just live through this. Because now I've caused the worst thing that could possibly happen to all these people on a random Tuesday night. Dude, you get destroyed in this game. You, uh, unless you like properly coordinate, you get destroyed. Uh, combat is not easy. It's not easy. You really, and uh, being dropped into it and not having a full understanding of what's happening, there's no blocking, man. At least on not a shield, there's no blocking. And you, your dodge slash dash doesn't even really move you that much. It's a heavy game. So you got to get used to it. It takes some, it takes some getting used to, that's for sure. I mean, it's, it's cool. I was definitely really impressed with how all of this stuff eventually worked. And it's over. And everyone is going to the bar. <laughs> and then people go back to... And welcome to the sword. We see a great many customers. <laughs> you know? And that's a... And that's... Uh, I, I think... Do I buy everybody a round? Yes. Because I felt bad about it. I got everybody drinks. Sorry about that, everybody. Very sorry about that. This one's on me, bro. <laughs> so that's Dragon's Dogma 2.